Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. We are on the ropes here. No, we're not. We're not at all because we're down by one to the Seattle Kraken. Definitely not like our backs against the wall or anything. So, psych, that's the wrong number. However, Seattle is undefeated in the playoffs so far. They're 5-0, and and technically, in this video, we could be put out. Because I'm going to be playing three games. So, we lose three in a row, we are swept, and we're done. But let's hope that the brooms do not come out, and that we live to fight another day. And even, perhaps, I want to say that we could tie the series up at 2-2. I just don't want to be down like 3-1 or something. So basically what I'm saying is obviously I'd rather be 2-2 two and two, or we win three straight in this video and go up 3-1. Anyway, now that Captain Obvious has said a few words, let's go ahead and simulate the first game and find out what kind of situation we'll be jumping into here. Love that. Nate and Jack both. Well, we're down by two, which I think is also going to be true for the series. Because I don't see us coming back in this third period. I know that's pessimistic. The game just began. I just don't see it happening. However, I would love to be proven wrong. So let's go out there and give it all we got. Here's Pasta. Goes to Kolznik, who rips one. I am going to pass that out because he was all alone over there. And the guy was right in front of me. But I felt comfortable enough that his stick wouldn't get in the way of that. I don't know why I felt that way. There was no good reason for it. But still... I did. I forgot they had Tim Winston. And they have Montour. This team is stacked. I mean, so is ours, so I can't really say anything. But, I mean, I would like to see the finances behind both of these teams. How are we cap compliant? Doesn't make any sense. Side note, someone pointed out in the comments, and I didn't even think of this. This is a contract year for TJ. Oh, yeah? No, didn't think so. Shea is heading off for slashing. We will be down one man for two minutes if we kill this thing off. Hopefully we do. Petrangelo taking over for the most hits in the league. Good stuff. We need a clean draw win here. Come on. Nice, kind of. Not so nice. But this could work still. If McNabb just sent the puck down the ice. You had one job. See, he knows. The toe drag and the short side attempt will be denied. However, there is a big kerfuffle in front of the net that is scaring the crap out of me. A tip. That will also be directed aside how we... Okay, we got 30 seconds left. I totally forgot to see how many shots they had as well, so... I doubt it's 50. Our save percentage probably gonna take a little bit of a beating here. You never know, though. I guess we will find out. Actually, as of when I'm recording this, the Seattle Kraken and the LA Kings just last night had a game that finished with a total of 17 goals. It was 9-8, an overtime W for the Seattle Kraken. I have Jonathan Quick... In fantasy, so that kind of sucked. McCann. Has, mm, I can't even pass it out if I wanted to. I tried, I'm not going to lie. And once again, I am thanking this game for stopping me from doing something stupid. Also, can confirm our save percentage has taken an absolute beating. It just showed the graphic in the face-off dot. And we have an 892 now. So that's fun. At least get me some team play here. Who's available? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Psych! I'm passing it over to Andrew Kopp. Gotcha. There's still four and a half to go, but our team really has not been putting up many chances. So I do not like our chances of winning this game at all. I think we're done, but hopefully we can fight back in the next one and try to win two straight so that we can be all tied up and have a best of three. Bedard gets the chance to walk out. Wow, I am so lucky. I slid across way too far. And I tried to poke check, which was sort of a, a panic reaction. Because I don't even feel like I wanted to do that. I just did it. Wow, Vili Huso, man. And then he goes past it. Look at this guy. Well, now it's really not looking good. We're heading to Seattle down by two. And we are yet to get a W in this round of the playoffs. The Seattle Kraken remain undefeated at 6-0 in the playoffs so far. We're getting interviewed. The beard is coming out. Love to see that. Timothy Jimothy, you're down in the series. Wow, thanks for that. Captain Obvious returns. How do you plan to turn this thing around? Well, you see, I don't have a plan. <laughs> that, that part comes later. My play has been fine. I'm not the reason we're behind. No, I'm not going to say that. We'll go with the team answer because I'm not about to out everybody like that. Although maybe I, mm, even if we did that, we probably would have had to have made a promise. So whatever. It is what it is. But 
feel like for the most part, we've been pretty good at avoiding those this year. We have to break the ice here. We have to give Seattle their first loss so they know what it's like. And then they can crumble. First period, 1-1. One, one. We take that. Second period, 4-4. Four, four. What is going on? Like, why is this the biggest? Well, I mean, look at the rosters. That's why it's an offensive duel. Okay, well, we're tied. Let's jump in. We now have an objective with the media to win this series. Couldn't care less. I would rather win the series anyway, obviously. But if that appeases the media or not, don't care. Oh my days, that was a great shot. Kind of surprised I saved that, actually. What the heck was that? I like it, though. It worked. Wonderful. All the way around pass. Billy Huso going to scoop that one up. And he will force a face-off in the Kraken zone. Come on, Jack. Win it back. I know you can do it. Maybe not. Maybe I had a little too much faith in you. Yeah, yeah. I got it. All day. And that's going right to you. The easy pass. Who actually makes a decent breakout pass for once. Good stuff, guys. Normally when I pass it to someone on the side like that, their immediate reaction is to pass it straight across the wide open net. No idea why that is, but they love doing it, that's for sure. We absolutely cannot afford to lose this. If we do, then we are going to be up against the ropes, and I'm not down. I would rather us have a best of three going into the next video, obviously. Is it still possible that we could reverse sweep them? Sure. Is it likely? No. Nice pass. Petrangelo, no! Oh, that was such a good opportunity. Vili Huso is shut down in these third periods so far. Not like he is shutting down and getting rinsed. Like, he is doing the shutting down. No. No, no, no! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know what I have to do. Never mind. He got caught up to quite easily, I might add. Pass that over to Petrangelo, who tried to back check. Actually, he succeeded in back checking. So thank you, Alex. You made up for your mistake. I love that. We're going to the power play. Come on, we need this. Tim Winston is headed to the box. And we have a man advantage for hopefully not the next two minutes because if we score, that would be fire. What are you doing, Nathan? I'm hoping that that shot did not go where you wanted it to because that was horrible. You had the entire net. Literally the entire net. Oh my days. We're almost getting scored on shorthanded. What are we doing? How do we miss basically a wide open net and then get into this situation? 30 seconds remain. Come on, lads. We need a goal here. I mean, we will go to overtime if we don't score. It's not like we're going to take an L. But I don't know. I just really don't like our chance. Is... Oh, of course. Of course, it's a hat trick. Why not? Obviously it is. <laughs> How did I not know that? So essentially, we're going to need a reverse sweep. Not going to be an easy thing to do. Oh, what do you want now? We haven't lost the series yet. Chill. Go ahead, ask your silly little question. What do you want from me? All right, the road to next round is tough. Yeah, I'm very aware of that. Thank you once again for pointing out the obvious. Any idea how you're gonna do- You literally already asked me this. What do you want from me? So this time we just have to win the next game, not the whole series. However, it's looking like Seattle's gonna sweep two series in a row. Their team is just nasty, apparently. Our season is officially on the line. Let's see how we do here. Not good. It's 2-1, and it is 2-1. I don't know what to tell you at this point. They're clearly just the better team. We have a power play to start this period, which is nice, but... We haven't really done a whole lot with it yet. Go for a little skate. Pass that to Hattrick Kane. Get me an apple. Mm -hmm. It was possible. Oh my word, I was way off. This guy really likes that short side blocker shot, eh? Does it every game, it seems like. And we are not doing a good job of defending this team right now. We're not doing a good job of scoring either. All around, we're just not doing well. I think I'm going to stay with the Golden Knights, though, because they've built an incredible team here. And, you know, put that was a brutal hit. Push come shove, I could just ask for a trade. So, yeah, I think I'm going to re-sign with the Golden Knights at the end of the season. Hopefully Seattle's reign of terror that's going on right now is a one-off. 
and they have contracts expiring that they will not be able to renew. I'm under the impression that they've already won the cup. Like they're the shoe in basically. It is the EA simulation engine, so anything could happen, but if they're able to bully a team like us into a sweep, they should win the cup without problem. I also don't think I've seen our team score a single goal in this series. You know, like actually witness it, obviously simulation. We got quite a few a couple times, but I don't think I've witnessed us actually score unless we did in the first game. But I don't think we did. We're getting dominated. Just absolutely dominated right now. Although it's not over yet. I think we can still take some positives from this if we do manage to get swept by the Seattle Kraken in that this was TJ's first time being named playoff starter and we got past the first round. So I chalked that up as a W and I think next season, which we blaze through those, it's gonna take three episodes to get through the season will be fire. So, I may or may not have been trying to use the old shortcut, at least what I thought was the old shortcut, to pull myself, because I don't know if maybe I'm in control of that, and then brought up a menu and got scored on. Not confirming or denying. Wow, they actually did it. The Seattle Kraken swept us in the second round of the playoffs. That is devastating. But, you know what? Clearly they deserved it. They were the better team, and it wasn't even close. Now it's time to do all these reporter meetings being like, Oh, why did you suck? <laughs> I thought you were gonna win the series. What happened there, bud? Like, listen here, pal. If I had the option to not make a promise, you think I wouldn't have taken that? You can't convince me that the Seattle Kraken aren't winning the Stanley Cup. There's no way. Absolutely no way. And they didn't win the Cup. It was the Winnipeg Jets and the Manitoba Moose get the Calder. Holy. Oh, the awards. Let's find out if we did, in fact, take home the Vesna. Yes, we did. All right. Great year. Oh, we also got the William M. Jennings. That is phenomenal. We should be asking for quite the contract. There's the draft lottery results, if anyone cares about that information. But let's go to the stats, shall we? Let's see what happened here in terms of overall awards. And maybe we could look at the league stats as well. Nate Mack, 55 tucks. What a legend. I know people are pointing that out in the comments. Yeah, Patrick Kane with the Art Raw. So, we are just sick. We're actually amazing. Let's have a look at these awards, shall we? So, the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, of course. Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the finals. And there you go. Individual winners. Patrick Kane with the Art Ross and the Hart. Petrangelo gets the Norris. Debrinkat with the Lady Bang. Bedard gets the Calder. Ehlers with the Con Smythe. Jimothy with the Vesna and the Jennings. No big deal. And then we got the Bill Masterton going to Cole. Barkov with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard go to Nate Mack. I think we got the majority of the trophies but not the one that matters the most let's have a look at the tree how long did it take it took them six games to beat oh my we have a lot of options here so the golden knights offered us another one-year deal we have the la kings the tampa bay lightning is vasilevsky still gonna be there though you know i can't really compete with that at least i know if i stay with the golden knights i should be the starter yeah like i said i'm gonna stay oh they only have la has no goalies right now they have five so you're out. Let's go with the Golden Knights. Why not? Stay where we are. I said I was going to. I'm a word of my man. Let's do it. I'm actually so sick and tired of hearing James. It's driving me crazy. Also, really, Nate? Really? We need a preseason win? Where was this in the playoffs last year? Wait a minute. I hit Sim to next big event. Did it Sim pass the preseason already? I think it might have just... Oh my word, we're into the season. Well, good thing I stopped it. I mean, I guess the Nate Mack meeting, but I was also, you know, starting to... Wonder what's going on here, because I saw that it said there was a game, but I thought it was just going to sim to the preseason and be like, oh, new season, by the way. This is kind of a big event. Apparently not. Side note, we've unlocked light work. Exceptional save ability and reaction when facing wrist shots. That's pretty cool. I need more followers for this one. To get a financial advisor, I need more followers. Well, I'm going to buy this collectible art then. Why not? I see. So two out of three X Factor points required to unlock this slot. Yeah, it makes sense now. You need to get all the way up to 20. Well, the good news is we're off to a stellar start here. We're 5 2 and 0. Oh. Look at our stats. 148, 945, and 4 1 and 0. Oh. Let's have a look at our line, see if anything has really changed or if we're about the same. 
Okay, so we have Mac, Stone, and Carlson. We're missing Patrick Kane. Our second line, though, is still Cop, Eichel, and Arvidsson, which is really good. And then we got Goche, Liam, and Achari. So we're still pretty solid. Defensively, we've got Dylan, Petrangelo, White Cloud. Okay, so what happened here? We're still doing good, so I'm staying put for the time being. But I feel like our team got blown up a little bit here. You know what, though? Maybe that's the kick in the rear we needed to really get going and to perform in the playoffs. So I'm going to see this as a good thing for now. Because the other team, although we won all these individual trophies... As a unit, we weren't getting it done. Well, an unfortunate playoff defeat, but we are up to 85 overall. We're off to a good start this season. I'm looking forward to season number four with the Golden Knights and hopefully a deeper playoff run. So anyways, if nothing else, again, at least I was hopefully entertaining throughout this, whatever this is going to be. It could be anywhere from like 15 minutes to about 25. It, you really never know. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.